Nairobi is a haven of culinary adventure. A cosmopolitan metropolis, it boasts international cuisine as well as local sumptuous streets. The palate of any connoisseur, foodie or gastronome will enjoy a wide selection of flavors. Join me, Monique Magaria, as I take you along on a food adventure in Nairobi. Let's find out where the treasures lie. Let's find out what has got taste. My name is Monique Magaria and this is Taste. Today the treasures lie at Jaye Cafe. Jaye Cafe. Jaye. I'm friend of what that means. Um, it really is a, a cafe, of course, is a coffee house. You get pastries and that kind of thing. But also, Check out in the menu, it's something called Egg Your Way. Two eggs um, with toast and there's um, vanilla cheese, there's potatoes and home fries, very, very nice. Then they have a full breakfast menu and this, by the way, I love breakfast, eh? but I like having my breakfast late. They even have a kiddie menu, uh, mini burgers, chip strips, um, bakery, they have a bakery. So this looks like a very, very interesting thing. Oh, hi, how hi, are you? Hey, how are you? My name is Moniki. Hi, Moniki. My name is Audrey. Audrey. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mm. Now, Audrey, this place looks. Um, this is your place, isn't it? Y yes, it is. What does J J? You said that. Am I correct? Yes, you are. J Y Cafe. What does that mean? Uh, J Y Cafe just simply means enjoying life. Yeah. So when you I come here, you're gonna enjoy, enjoy yourself. I like the ambience. You know, you've got nice the greenery and uh, the finish. It's very simply. Um, Welcoming, as I would like to say. Yes. And it seems like uh, one of the biggest things here is uh, your breakfast, huh? No? Uh, we specialize on breakfast uh -huh. because we do understand the importance of having a good meal at the beginning of your day. Ah, super. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Well, so I think I've ordered some breakfast. Sure. And I'll try that out and see how that goes. All right. Thank you very much, Audrey. Okay, thank you. Hi. What's your name? Maureen. So this is what do you call this? English food. Uh, this is going to be very filling. Sausages, bacon, eggs, croissant, home fries. home fries, baked beans, and of course some greens, and uh, of course avocado. What is left without an avocado? Bacodofia. Okay, thank you very much. I'll enjoy that. So guys, this is what you do when you get breakfast like this. You give glory to God. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at avocado. Oh, that's a good fried egg. Mm. Now, I must say something about the avocado. It just made that egg reach another level. I really have enjoyed that. Mmm. 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 They put some sugar in the beans, baked beans. Mmm. Mmm. Savor the flavor. For those that like egg yolk, oh, that is really, really something. I'm not one for egg yolk, but you know what? When you mix it with avocado, it actually hides the taste. <laughs> mm. Avocado for president. <laughs> Well, guys, that is the full English breakfast. Now, I'm going to have my cappuccino with my croissant. And guys, you, don't, you do not eat a croissant with a fork and knife. You break it. Oh, it's a chocolate croissant. It's a chocolate croissant. Oh, for those of you who are Kenyans, croissant. Mm. I do not... Cappuccino is heavy. I do not um, add sugar any of my beverages because I'm sweet enough. Oh, can you hear the angels singing? Oh, that barista, she knows what she's doing. Done an excellent job. Excellent, excellent job. So, I'm off to eating my food. We'll be back and we'll go and engage the chef briefly and find out exactly how he does all this great stuff. So guess who I'm with? 
after that fantastic meal, I had to go and find out who was behind it. And it was none other than this Jama. Kwaje. <laughs> Jenako. Alex Eboy. Eboy. Yeah. Tell me now, you yeah. did a very nice uh, full English breakfast. I've really enjoyed myself. Thanks. Okay. What, which which meal do people normally come and, 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 and ask for? Okay, many people come and ask for chicken curry. Chicken curry, oh. Yeah, we have fish and uh, plantain. Mm -hmm. And then I can uh, we have a porridge, which you call it uh, arrow porridge. Oh! Yeah. Why did you give me? Is it ready? It is ready. I can taste? Yeah. I have to show the arrow porridge. Are you stronger as a cafe or as a restaurant? As a restaurant. As a restaurant. So you make yeah. more money from the restaurant side yeah. rather than the cafe side. The cafe However, side. that beautiful girl over there yeah. is called Amina. She's the barrister over here and my goodness, the cappuccino. Mm. <laughs> Guys, that is what we're talking about. Some great, great food here at J Cafe off Kangata Road next to Wibo and uh, the monk over there. Make sure you come and have your breakfast. And of course, as you said, eh, Kuna jakula ingine in, Kuna jakula and we must ingine. try it. Now I'm going to try it with the arrow, uh, the arrow porridge, and I'll let you know how it tastes okay. right now. In fact, right now after this, okay. yeah. Okay. So these guys left the best secret for last. Guys, this is arrow root porridge. It has everything that a man needs: sim sim seeds, pumpkin. Seeds, sunflower, seeds, ground nuts, <laughs> and of course, arrowroots. Oh, it's definitely a porridge. Ah! Now, after this, you can break down any door, if you know what I mean. Eat well, live well. Mm -hmm. Eat healthy, live healthy. Mm. Oh my God. So, while I finish that, you guys go and try and get some yourself. Run over to J Cafe and uh, ask for the arrowroot porridge. I'll tell you one thing. My name is Monique Magaria and J Cafe They've got taste. Mm.